चैप्टर फोर स्टार्टिंग एंड शटिंग डाउन ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर रोड मैप लिस्ट द स्टेप्स फॉर स्टार्टिंग अ कंप्यूटर सेकेंड आइडेंटिफाई द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अ डेस्कटॉप थर्ड लिस्ट द स्टेप्स फॉर शटिंग डाउन अ कंप्यूटर ब्रदर आई एम प्रेसिंग बटन ऑन द की बोर्ड स्टिल द कंप्यूटर इज नॉट स्टार्टिंग कैन यू हेल्प मी आउट रिया देर इज अ प्रॉपर वे इन विच वी स्टार्ट एंड शट डाउन अ कंप्यूटर कम लेट मी टेल यू हाउ टू डू इट स्टार्टिंग अ कंप्यूटर वी नो डैट अ कंप्यूटर इज अ यूजफुल मशीन वी मस्ट यूज इट प्रॉपरली लेट अस लर्न द स्टेप्स टू स्टार्ट एंड शट डाउन अ कंप्यूटर इन अ प्रॉपर वे फर्स्ट टर्न ऑन द मेन पावर स्विच एज यू कैन सी इन द फोटो सेकेंड स्विच ऑन द यू पी एस यू पी एस स्टैंड फॉर अन इंटरप्टेड पावर सप्लाई इट इज अ डिवाइस डेट कीप्स द कंप्यूटर वर्किंग फॉर सम टाइम वेन द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गोज ऑफ This gives us time to finish and save our work properly on a computer. As you can see in the photo, this is the photo of a UPS. Third, switch on the CPU. As you can see in the figure, there is a power button on the CPU which you have to press. Fourth, switch on the monitor. And last, you switch on the monitor as you can see in the photo by pressing the power button. A laptop has a power button. To switch on the laptop, we press this button. as you can see in the photo here there is a power button on the laptop which you have to press to switch on the laptop logging into a computer kids would you open the door of your home to a stranger no we have been told not to do so similarly a computer does not allow a stranger to use it when the computer is switched on the logging screen appears a logging screen asks us to enter a user name and password A user name is any name created to use the computer and a password is a secret word used along with the user name as you can see this is the login screen and here you have to write user name and password when we switch on a computer it takes a while before something comes on the screen this is called startup or booting during booting the computer performs necessary actions which make it ready to use snap check write 1 2 3 and 4 in the circles to put the steps to switch on the computer on the correct order so first this one we switch on the power supply then second this one we switch on the ups that is uninterrupted power supply then third we switch on the cpu and last we switch on the monitor desktop When we log in using the correct username and password the adjacent screen appears on the monitor this screen is called the desktop as you can see in the photo this is the picture of a desktop so this is wallpaper these small things are called icons this is the start button this is search box and this is task bar the small pictures that we see on the desktop are called icons The background image of the desktop is called wallpaper. The task bar is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. Some of the important parts of the task bar are start button and search box. Start button. The start button appears at the left corner of the task bar. When we click this button, a list of programs or apps appears. This list is called the start menu. We can use start menu to do some common tasks. such as starting a program and shutting down the computer as you can see this is the picture of a start menu when you press the start button the menu appears magic plus keys we can press the windows logo key this one on a keyboard to open a start menu as you can see this is the windows key on the keyboard search box using the search box we can quickly look for an app or a program on our computer and open it For example to open tux paint we can type tux paint in the search box as shown click the program name to open it as you can see using the search box we have written here tux paint and tux paint appeared here snap check match the following column a and column so this should be column b first desktop we connect it to d screen that appears on the monitor after we log in to a computer second wallpaper so we connect it to e background image of the desktop third start menu we connect it to a 
list of programs and options that appear on clicking the start button. Fourth task bar, we connect it to C, long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. Fifth icons, we connect it to B, small pictures on the desktop. Shutting down a computer. After finishing our work, it is important to shut down the computer properly. Follow these steps. First, click the start button on the taskbar. As you can see in the picture, you have to press this start button on the taskbar. Second, click the power option. So this is the power option. Click this one. Third, click on the shutdown option. A message showing that the computer is shutting down appears on the monitor. Fourth, switch off the monitor. Fifth, switch off the UPS. And sixth, switch off the main power button. As you can see in the picture, in the fourth step, we switch off the monitor. In fifth step, here is the UPS, we switch off the UPS. And in sixth, we switch off the main power button. You must have seen your parents use Google to search for information. Sundar Pichai is currently the CEO of Google. While working on a computer, if we want to take a break for some time, then we can use the sleep option to save electricity. We can wake up the computer from the sleep mode by pressing any key, moving the mouse or pressing the power button. Bookmark Booting A process in which a computer performs necessary actions which make it ready to use. Second Desktop The screen that appears on the monitor after we log into a computer. Third Icons small pictures that appear on the desktop. Next taskbar, a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. Next wallpaper, the background image of the desktop. Next username, any name created to use the computer. Next password, a secret word used along with the username. Starting and shutting down a computer. Steps for starting a computer, switch on the main power button. Switch on the UPS, switch on the CPU button, switch on the monitor. Steps for shutting down a computer, click on the start button to on the taskbar, click on the power button, click on the shutdown option, switch off the monitor, switch off the UPS, switch off the main power button. Let us tweet. Take the correct answer. Dash are the small pictures that appear on the desktop. Answer B. Icons. Second, what is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop called? Answer A. Task bar. Third, the dash is present on the left corner of the task bar. Answer C. Start button. B. Fill in the blanks using the words given below. First, the start button is present on the task bar. Second, the screen that appears on the monitor after log in the computer is called the desktop. Third, before switching off the main power button, we should switch off the UPS. Fourth, during dash, the computer performs necessary actions which make it ready to use. So answer is booting. C. Write T for true and F for false statements. First, the desktop screen appears when we log in using the correct username and password. So this is true, so we write here T. Second, icons are present on the desktop. So this is true, so we write here T. Third, the option to shut down the computer is present on the start menu. So this is also true, so we write here T. Fourth. We switch on the UPS before switching on the main power button. So this is false. So we write here F. D. Solve the crossword by using the clues given below. One has been done for you. Across. Like second. It should be switched on after switching on the main power button when starting a computer. So answer is UPS. Third. So where is third? Here. A horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. So this is task bar. Fifth, small pictures on the desktop. So answer is icons. 
down first the screen that appears when we log into the computer so answer is desktop fourth the button present at the leftmost corner of the taskbar so answer is start button so we write here start sixth a secret word used with the username to log into the computer so answer is password so friends we have solved the crossword e answer the following questions first what is a taskbar answer a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop is called taskbar second name any two items present on the desktop answer taskbar icons third write the use of start button and search box answer start button has a list of programs and apps search box helps us to search applications open forum a class discussion on the importance of username and password to access the computer system can be carried out in the class so friends do it yourself diy lab activity visit the computer lab at your school practice switching on the computer properly do the following when the desktop is displayed first double click on the my computer icon on the desktop to see the contents of the computer second double click on any icon on the desktop to open it third using the start menu choose the shutdown option to shut down computer properly project find out the names of four companies that manufacture laptop so answer hp dell acer asus screenshot ishani wants to switch off her computer she has forgotten the correct sequence of steps help her recall the correct order by putting the numbers in the box provided so first we press the start button second we press the power option and third we select the option shut down after that we switch off the monitor so this is the fourth step then we switch off the ups this is the fifth step and last we switch off the main power supply so this is the last step that is sixth hyperlink life skill tips on saving electricity we must switch off the electrical devices like computers ac and refrigerators when not in use we must use natural light during the day time and switch to led lights this way we can do our bit to save mother earth friends our chapter 4 starting and shutting down a computer is complete if you like the video kindly like it and share it and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching